lies, fraud, deception, all these are characteristics of the Dumb End YouTube channel. And today, it's its one year anniversary. But how could such lies go on for so long? Well, I think we need to start at the beginning. Because that name, Venice. It all starts in Venezuela, 2012. Because that name, Venezuela, 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 Venezuela. Venezuela is a pretty cool shape, though, guys. Have you seen Venezuela on a map? Venezuela just looks so damn cool on that map. Guys, how would you not like Venezuela? Venezuela is so good. Because that name, Venezuela, Venezuela, Venezuela is just so, so cool. Venezuela. Because that name, Venezuela, 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 Venezuela. Venezuela, 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 Venezuela. Is that name? Venezuela, 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 Venezuela. Guys, I think because that name Venezuela, 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 Venezuela. So guys, Venezuela has nothing to do with the story. In fact. It has literally nothing to do with it, well, except for the fact that all the Domen owners were born in Venezuela. Now guys, it's time to begin the true story of this fraud and deception. Domen was started one year ago from this exact day, on June 26. Now, it claims to have five core members, Martin Fat, Logan B. Dizzle, a person, Bob the God, and Arlias animates. But here's the problem. Half of these members just plain out don't exist. That is right. Despite their voices being present in this one video, they her voices appear nowhere else on the internet. This is absolutely insane. These people are fake. Which ones are they? Well, it's actually a person, Arlias animates, and most shocking of all, Logan B. Dizzle. This is gonna be a long ride to explain, but uh, buckle on. Let's explain the growth of Demen, shall we? Demen? In three months, gained three million subscribers and ten billion views. That made it the fastest growing channel, like ever. It's so insane. By month six, it had twenty billion subscribers and ten trillion views. By month seven, it had negative twenty-seven subscribers and seven views. By month 12, which we are currently on, it sits at a staggering negative 475. Oh, wait, that. Oh, that's not a negative. That's a that's a dash. Oh, it, it stands at 747 billion subscribers and 10 hundred million trues. This is an insane level of growth. Reach. And it is why this channel is currently the number one channel on YouTube. But why create three people that don't exist for a channel? Well, there are three main benefits. One, nuclear threats. That is right. With fake people, you can call in the government of the United States and say, hey, there's a bomb. Over the years, Dumb End has called in numerous terrorist attacks on various states claiming their bombs, military, poverty, everything. And guess who got the blame? Three non-existent people. A person, Logan B. Dizzle, and Argyus Animates. If the men did not have these decoys, everyone would have been arrested for bomb threats on China. But guys, we all know this is just a genius strategy. When the place smells delicious, but, but you need you know? help with the menu. Download these the Google three app. characters, Arlias Animates, Logan B. Dizzle, and A-Person are fake. Well, 
let me show you some evidence. And let's first start with a person. All right, so he, as soon as the channel started, he was claimed to exist. They even made a YouTube channel for him beforehand, but there's a problem. In all of his videos, he's never shown talking once. Yeah, the only voice clip we have of a person is from the Domain intro. And do you know where this voice line can be traced back to? Bisexuals are really bad people. Like seriously, just think about it. If you pay for sex, you are getting scammed. You can always just ask your mom for sex. Yeah. So, he literally doesn't even exist. And look at the lies I found about this person. They're a Greek god of memes. What kind of claim is this? This is the stupidest thing. But this is probably the stupidest one, but but we're gonna go on to the other ones to prove they're fake. Uh, our Linus Animates has an entire YouTube channel dedicated to him and even more voice lines. So how could he be fake? Well, he never uploads just like a person, but even more so, the only voice clips we hear of him can be traced back to uh, this video. Oh, I just need to find the sweet bone. Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 got it. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, could I have six chicken nuggets, please? This is the KFC, not a McDonald's. Stop there, Morgan, stop opening your eyes. God, they can't use voice change like bro okay and now for the biggest one of all logan b zizzle the guy who's constantly claimed to exist just straight up doesn't exist all of his videos can be traced back to being edited by guess who bob the god Bob the God has been behind the Logan B. Dizzle personification for years. Seriously. Years and years. It's all been traced back to him. Logan B. Dizzle. This is insanity. How could the men fake three people without anyone noticing for years? Well, I had to ask some people on the channel why they did this. So first, I asked Morning Fat. You know what he replied with to my one email I sent to him? LMAO, get lost, bozo. LMAO, get lost, bozo. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm devastated right now. But more importantly, we have an interview with Bob the God. And I asked him for his comment on the matter. Here's what he had to say to the claims. I'm sick and tired of everyone telling me John F. Kennedy is- Okay, I'm sick and tired of everyone telling me John F. Kennedy is not the most open-minded president. Oh yeah, and I'm Bob the God, by the way. I'm back, finally. Because they finally figured out the password to dumb in, and they didn't want me back. But John F. Kennedy was the most open-minded person because when they shot his brains out, his head became open, and you could see his mind. Meaning, he is now the most open-minded president there is. Just like Abraham Lincoln. He was also really open-minded, because you could also see his mind. But, what does this mean in the world of F the Balloon's Tower Defense 5? Because John F. Kennedy actually plays a key role in Balloon's Tower Defense 5. John F. Kennedy was the person who actually found the balloon in BDD 5. And then, the monkeys assassinated him, causing the balloons to go to war. And then Abraham Lincoln invented the Moab. And then the monkeys tried to assassinate him, but failed. And then he, invent he invented the BFB, and then the monkeys cornered him in Afghanistan. Where the monkeys launched a tactical nuclear missile at him. The nu nuclear missile failed, and then Abraham Lincoln later died from stubbing his toe too hard on a coffee table. And the radiation caused purple balloons to come out, which all mean the magic, meaning Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy were important to the lore of Lynch's house. That they were too important that they caused those two balloon types to be made. Any questions? More!
And that is why John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln went to the Flynn War. But wait, there is more. John. But wait, there is more. John, not not to be confused with John F. Kennedy, it's actually the engineer monkey. And John actually made Mountain Dew. And this is important to the lore because the lore of the sniper monkey is that he sold his two newborns for half for half a twelve pack of Mountain Dew. It is rumored that his sons later went on to create the bads. Also, it is also rumored that the engineer monkey uses children's souls to make the turret work. And that that where sniper monkey's children are most likely are. But this was actually disproven by John, the engineer monkey. After he burned himself alive while being crucified. Yeah, I, I know that. That's crazy. The reason he burned himself alive while being crucified was because he could not handle it anymore. The children's souls taunting him. And then later someone opened one of the things to learn all the children's souls for you. Yeah, that's it. Any more questions? What, you want lore about the dog, dog, dog monkey? Okay, well, the dog monkey is actually a cocaine addict. Well, one dog monkey named John is a, not John, sorry. Keep confusing him with the engineer monkey because the engineer monkey crucified and burned himself alive. But the dog monkey was the one who crucified him. Okay, so the dog monkey, I forgot his name. I'm, I'm just gonna call him Methane since he loves cocaine. So Methane... But his entire lore was that he never met his dad or mom. He, he was an orphan. Because the super monkey, flying at high speed, accidentally killed his mom and dad by cutting them in half because he was going too fast and flying too low to the ground. This split his mom and dad in half, completely obliterating the bottom half of their bodies. And as the dot monkey methane watched his parents slowly die, Super Monkey came back, yelled get gooder, twerked on the dead corpses, and started peeing on them. And when methane, the dot monkey, went to punch him, Super Monkey picked him up and shoved him into the window of a nearby orphanage. Yeah, so that's his origin story. But you might be asking yourself, why did he crucify Engineer Monkey again? It's because Engineer Monkey was actually the person who invented the serum to create that super monkey that killed his mother and father. So, after days of hunting him down, tracking him down, killing his family members, kidnapping some, holding them for ransom, Kidnapping his favorite pet frog before releasing it because he, he won't kill animals for some reason But he'll crucify people And then the day came So anyways, uh, that, that's all my time. So uh, I'm gonna show you where some coal is on the seed Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I wasted all my time. Sorry We'll be back with more methane